everyone, it's Kay. In today's viewer's choice picture showcase, I will demonstrate another classic specter, the first sentinel. I will show them in bossing and mapping using my pure specter's double cluster build. Okay, let's say hi to Mina. When I'm ready and not before. That was kind of slow, wasn't it? In part 2 of the video, I will go over the gear and gems while demonstrating map clearing using T16 promenade. The Frost Sentinel is a spell specter which casts a special ice spear that has multi projectiles and fork. You can find the Frost Sentinel in Act 8, Lunaris Concourse. For Bosin, the 6th link is Ray Spectre, Spell Echo, Minion Damage, Controls Destruction, Elemental Focus, and Death Mark, which I swapped to GMP for mapping. For the Curse, I use Projectile Weakness. For the Auras, I use Hatred and Vile Haste linked to Generosity. And for extra damage against bosses, I use Frost Bomb and Avatar of Fire to proc exposure and EE for minus 75% cold reds. You can also build around crit for mapping by using Assassin's Mark and swapping Elemental Focus to High Bomb. The first sentinel's ice spear is different to the player skill. It gains 50% more damage after a short distance and it has inbuilt fork and multiple projectiles. The first sentinel also has a fast cast speed. So when you link GMP and Spirico, the first sentinels will quickly cover the screen with icy death. And this makes mapping feel pretty safe. However, another difference to the player skill is that there is no extra crit chance or crit multi and the ice spear doesn't pierce at long range. So projectile weakness or pierce support is very important. The frost sentinel also has low base damage compared to other spell specters and doesn't scale as well as new atlas influence specters. It doesn't really matter in mapping because map monsters have low HP but you will feel it in endgame bossing. You could see how slow the minikill was. And sadly, first sentinels will feel really weak if you use them in the past because GGG gave endgame bosses a massive HP buff in 3.9. Overall, the Frost Sentinel feels underpowered nowadays. It's still an okay specter for mapping because it can fill the map with ice spears. But for Engin Bosin, the low damage makes the fights longer and more dangerous. 
Okay, I hope you enjoyed this picture showcase. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye!